What's up guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Monster Slayers. I was hoping you would like this game, and actually the reception was pretty warm, and on top of that I just wanted to play the game, so meh, fuck it, I'm gonna play some Monster Slayers today. Is one of those, that's one of the nice things about what I do here on the internet, is I can choose to be like, eh, I'm just gonna cover this game more or less today. Uh, today, we're gonna play a different class. I like the wizard, I like the ranger... Let's go with the wizard. No, I'll do the no ranger. Ranger's cool. Uh, we've got a lady named Priest Claw. That sounds fine to me, Priest Claw. I doubt I'm going to come up with a name that's any more interesting than that. By the end of the Great War, many heroes from the Empire pushed the orcs back into the northernmost fringes of the Empire. As these heroes fell in battle, their weapons lie scattered in the northern valley, buried and forgotten until now. Your quest is simple enough, but easier said than done. Slay three legendary monsters and return as a true monster slayer. First things first in this game, you always want to go through and make sure that you've got items. Don't ever set out in this game without equipping yourself first. Because this right here, for example, is an extra 13 HP. Like, you just get that. It's just a thing you have now. Uh, we can also get a shoulder pad of the serpent. Sounds good to me. Adds one to poison damage, but more importantly, gives me 11 more HP. And then on top of that, we can either go with a hammer of regeneration. Got the blessed ring, so I will take that. And I'm going to put that in right there, too. So we've got ourselves a little bit of scythe action. It's a scythe. I had a friend that used to say scimitar all the time. It used to drive me nuts. I tell him, I'd be like, dude, it's pronounced scimitar, and he'd be like, uh uh, scimitar, because this is like back in the 90s when we didn't have the internet, and ain't nobody want to use a dictionary, ain't nobody got time for that shit. Uh, this time we'll do Forbidden Desert, I guess. That sounds pretty good. And we'll see how she performs. Not super familiar with the Ranger, I think I've played her like once. We'll try to do the best that we can with what we have let's on her. Do this. Uh, another hopeful hero, let's get our companion. So we can go with the Rogue we had last time. For the sake of of being different each time that I play. I'm going to take the Paladin, just so you guys can get a better representation of the variability of the gameplay. A Paladin named Stormseed. Another lady. All oh, the hero ladies. Put your hands up. Alright, so we're going to go beat up an undead mage with all of our with all of our hero ladies. Uh, we can take a Mulligan. I actually wanted to see what our deck had in it real fast so that I could get a feel for what my playstyle is going to be. But we've got 3 AP, 2 mana, so I'm going to assume it's going to play kind of similar to the other melee classes and whatnot. We do have dodge cards, though, which is pretty sweet. I want a mulligan, because I don't want to start with a dodge, and I still got a dodge, so what are you going to do? The music in this game is absolutely fantastic, too. Whoever was responsible for the music, not bad. Did a pretty good job with it. Uh, we got another attack right there, and then I guess I'll put up dodge. Gives us improvise, which I'll take a block seven. And we'll see what our enemy does here. We've got precise hit, deals five physical damage, okay. Mighty hit, gain five AP, then spend them all. One damage per AP spent, so technically this should do eight. Ten, because I got a plus two for my weapon, so yeah. Very nice. I'll accept that on the face of it. That was just a good exchange. Four, sure, but you can kind of see what the addictive component of this gameplay is. Ooh, I like that hand. That hand's pretty good. Yeah, that's a hand that just keeps on giving. Ooh, life train, okay. Well, let me... I'm going to play dodge. And after dodge, I'm going to play attack, obviously. And then I'll run mighty hit, actually. Mighty hit should deal a pretty solid chunk of damage right there, and one that I'm not embarrassed to deal. Yeah, you can see the addictive component is just like trying to get your hand to come up the way that you want with the various decks that you have. And you can tailor your decks in a number of ways. You get basically five modifications to your deck before you get to a boss. And as you get further, you get five more before you get to the next boss there. And pretty soon you should have a deck that's fairly well tuned for what you want it to do by the end of your adventure. Five lightning damage. Lightning damage sometimes removes their APs, but it didn't this time around. I'm going to play concentrate. I'm going to draw a card because I still have AP left. And unfortunately that AP is just going to go to waste. Just gonna go to waste. In general, with card games, you don't want to end turns with extra mana. You don't want to end turns with extra APs. When you unload, you want to unload. And when you hold back, you want to hold back completely. I used to play a lot of Hearthstone. Not like a ton of Hearthstone, but I used to play a decent amount. I'm gonna attack him just in case. Oh, that did eight. Never mind then. We killed an undead knight. That's gonna level us on up. We can upgrade a card. We can get Retaliate. While in your hand, the next attack card played by an enemy deals five damage, and you get to draw a card. That's not terrible. Magic Missile's pretty decent, too, if I can get myself some extra mana, but I think Retaliate's a better plan. I'm gonna go with Retaliate, just to kind of see what we can get out of it. We can fight a Jackal Warrior over here. Man, that Jackal Warrior been working on that peck day, just not giving a shit. He went out for a peck and came back with a bushel, son. Uh, we got... 
I like both of those hands equally little. <laughs> I dislike both of those hands for what they are. A bunch of low-level attacks stacked up with, it's just... Oh, really? He played a Retaliate? Did he play it on me? Oh, I played a Retaliate on him. Gotcha. Precise hit. Five damage to the first card played. Add ten. Ooh, wow. Okay. That's not bad. I am going to use... We can deal four right there. Yeah, might as well. Because this is going to allow me to deal five, and then we can finish him off on this turn without having to take any further damage. We've got ten XP and five coins right there. Sounds great. Makes me happy. That music, though, right? It almost doesn't match up, because the music values sound like the production from, like, a AAA game. And whereas for an indie title, the production values in this game are fine, the only thing that I'd like to see is not upscaled art. That's my only complaint about the game so far, is I just don't like upscaled art. But other than that, I really, really like this title. I think it's a sweet little game. Now, the cards are fairly well balanced. There are some things that are slightly annoying, but we've already talked about those in the previous episode, and that's going to be a developer choice issue. That just comes down to me personally as a person that likes card games. I just don't like things that do stuff like that, because you get that blank look from the guy across the table when he's just like, Ugh. not even going to get to play today. Uh, yeah, play that one. Oh, he canceled it. That's the risk you take. See, he had a card up that made him dodge. He played dodge, and I didn't know that he played dodge, and so I have this card right here that does tons of bonus damage if I play it first. Well, dodge makes it so that, you know, the first card that you play afterwards has a chance of being dodged. He just canceled out that massive damage. Not bad at all. Actually, a pretty smooth play right there. And he hit me with his precise hit right at the... Oh. We're hurting right now. We need to stop this fight like 10 minutes ago. There we go. Get him with a thunderstorm. Knock his ass out with the power of Thor. Damage shouldn't matter too much because we just leveled up. And so we're going to get our HP back. We can start with more AP. We can get a free dodge. We can get a bleed. We can get 10 gold. Tough call. I'm going to take the AP. Last time we didn't take the AP and I regretted it. I'm also going to dig down deep in this treasure chest and see what we get out of it. Another Retaliate. I'll absolutely add that to my deck. Sure, sounds good to me. Merchant down there, a Captain up on this side. Hello. I am going to upgrade a card here. With my upgrade, we have a lot of really weak attacks. That's kind of worrisome to me. I'm gonna go with Retaliate 2, because that'll put two Retaliate 2s in my deck which means that most of any enemies in this game are relying on physical. That's going to get ugly for them really rapidly if they just keep coming up in my hand. All right, so we got an Undead Cleric. I'm going to play that right there to get a nice little grip of damage, get a block seven up, and then hit him for three. And that's that. We're going to wait to see how he retaliates. Uh, I didn't get any retaliations in my hand. That's a little bit of a bummer. I'm going to run Precise Hit right there to one-shot him. Nice. Very nice. I'm going to run into the spider fight right now, and the risk of spiders is always poison. Damage over time effects in this game are really strong. They hurt like hell. Oh, really? I'll deal 10 damage with that right there. Not bad. I'll take it. Pretty productive turn for me. He's going to play web. That's going to remove one card from my hand. I'm going to ditch concentrate. He's going to play it again. I'm going to ditch attack too. If you play a third web, I'm going to scream at you and want to hurt you. Yeah, I didn't even get to play last turn. Probably not going to get to play this turn either. It just depends how often he gets double web. There we go. So we turned around a little damage right there. Oh, Retaliate did nicely. He's forced to heal himself with a Concentrate, and he's going to play more poison on me. I've still got another Retaliate, so he should get one-shotted by our second Retaliate. Yep. Very nice. We've gained a level, so we can delete a card. We can gain an Improvise. We can gain 10 gold, or we can gain a Dodge. I'm going to gain another Improvise. That sounds like something I want to have inside of my deck. The Eye Demon is up next. We'll see how we fare against him. That's a pretty solid starting hand. I'll take it. Should allow me to start out with a little bit of defense and a little bit of offense. and I'm okay with that. Hopefully he doesn't play Fly. Flying creatures all have a card called Fly that makes it really difficult to hit him with your attacks. and They tend to play it pretty gratuitously, so you just sit there like whiffing at air, just being like... Argh! Not able to hit anything. Just conjuring like whooshing noises through the sky. Play Improvise for a 7 shield. Play that. Play that. And we got him close, but we just couldn't steal it. There's Fly right there. I knew it was coming. That dude's fly is a motherfucker. All up in the sky. Feeling all fly. Ready to make a hero die. Uh, he canceled that, but he got hit by the second one. I'm going to play Dodge. He's going to cancel that card, though, too. Fortunately, just couldn't get it done right there. That Fly card, man, it's good. 
That fly card is fantastic. Deal four right there to get him out of the way. And that's going to be the end of our fight. We've got a level four skeleton over here. I'm going to go ahead and square up with him. Square off, bro. Square off. He started with a retaliate. He's a melee character. So, yeah, I accept that. We're going to play retaliate real early in this fight because he's a warrior. So, he's going to have to play an attack card eventually unless he just doesn't even want to play the game. Seven damage right there. Improvise for four. And he should be up and out of the way. I feel like when the ranger is on, the ranger is really on. And when the ranger is off, the ranger is really off. We leveled up. That gives us an extra card in our hand. Can't fire over here. We're going to swing through there, but I'll probably skip it. I'm going to come back later. Level 1 slime on this side. That poor, poor level 1 slime. I'm sorry, pal. It's not your fault. I didn't mean for it to go down like that, but you're a level 1 slime and I'm a level 5 adventurer. We can get precise hit, a level 2 precise hit, or we can take a defend. I'm going to take precise hit. Sounds good to me. We can take a frost strike or a concentrate. I'm going to take a concentrate. Sounds good. There's a sage over here. I forget what the sage does, aside from make your soup nice and herbal. Uh, it wants me to copy a card. Oh, yeah, I'll copy a card. Uh, copy or retaliate, please. And then trap. Basically, I'm trying to turn this into, like, a booby trap deck where you can't do anything without me having, like, a retaliate in my hand that deals eight damage. Is that a telescope? Like, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a trap. Okay. Weird. Like, that's fine. I'm going to draw a card right there. For that one, I'm going to draw a card. That gives us a pretty solid hand. Wow, looks like we just got to whittle it down one by one. There's another retaliate. Two more turns until the trap goes off. Mighty hit right there for three, but that's going to drain all my AP. What's going to happen when this thing goes off? Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Let's go. I guess it just disappears when it gets to the bottom. Like, you get a chance to kill it, but... Yeah, what's up, Merchant? What you got for him? You got another Retaliate for 40 coins. I don't know if that's wise. We're going to be Retaliating on dudes hard on this one. Cards cannot be canceled by the hidden effect. You'll see, that's pretty good right there. It makes it so that if they have, like, a dodge or they have, like, fly, they can't cancel your cards. It basically negates that entirely. Bone Scale Amulet. I'm going to take the Retaliate. I'm gonna, I know what our strategy is, and I'm going to stick to it. As many Retaliates as I can get. I just want to hurt the enemy. Improvise will put a shield up, concentrate. I'm going to draw a card for another seven damage. Eight in reality once you add up everything we've got. It lets you draw a card too, like Retaliate replaces itself. There's no reason to stack your deck with it because it's not going to hurt your hand economy at all. Like it's going to give you the card back whenever it gets played. And so it's just like, well, I might as well have it, right? Yeah, we'll go to the campfire and we'll rest. I know you didn't ask a question, but I'm still going to answer it anyways. I'm going to camp here. It's apparently the bonfire from Dark Souls. So if you rested a bonfire, what's going to happen is every turn you can draw a random card from the deck of 12 cards. Two of them are fish bones. If you get a fish bone, you lose all of your rewards. We've got alcohol. We've got two meats and an alcohol. I'm going to take those three. And so there it is. It allowed me to delete a card here. I'm going to get rid of some of the attack ones, I think. Just to smooth out our deck a little bit. Make it so I've got less of a chance of dealing, like, crap damage. Ah. It's a Beholder. Well, we've got Retaliate, so we'll see what happens here. Precise Hit goes out first, obviously. Improvise, put up a shield. And hopefully we get to play those Retaliates this turn. Uh, what is that? Enemy discards their entire hand, then redraws the number of discarded can... Oh, wow, that's nasty. Okay. Uh, we should be able to whittle through this dude without too much trouble. I mean, we're playing Retaliates on him so fast that every time he does anything, he ends up getting whooped on. Uh, with Improvise, put up a 7 damage shield, play that, put up a... Actually, I'll wait till next turn. I'm going to put up an invulnerability shield next, but not right now. Let me redraw my hand, you little bastard. Put up another block 7. Ah, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep it, even though I know it's risky. Shield should hold on this turn. And that should be the kill. You have defeated the Eye Demon. You gained 25 XP, 26 coins, and a random item. Hell to the yeah. Hell yeah! Victor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell to the yeah. To the yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So we're up and out of here. I've got rank six now. I'm actually going to make it so that there's more likely for potions to drop after every fight. Uh, defeating a boss now grants you a continue that you can cash in for fame or spend to retry a level. We can go before each battle. You get an additional mulligan. A campfire now appears on every level. 
You can get more gold. I'm going to take the mulligan. The double mulligans sound great. I love redrawing my hand and doing something different. This time around, we're going to open up our inventory, see if there's anything cool in here. we got a bracelet of mending. 2 HP when you use mana charge. It's a good mage item, but for me, it's not that great. Uh, it's a crap shoulder right there. Sell junk items. Just get them out of my inventory for right now. Bracelet of mending is, like, slightly tempting, but I don't use magic spells enough to really make that be worth a slot. We're going to go to the dead forest next and see how we do here. This place doesn't look too friendly. Oh, well, yeah. Was it the dead bodies that tipped Let's you off, or is it the fact that it's, like, raining tears at the moment? Uh, we can choose a companion. So, select a companion with an ability that suits your play style. I want the gold. I'll be honest with you. I really want the gold. So now we've got an extra person. Cool. Should allow us a little bit more diversity when it comes to our... Uh, I'll take a mulligan. Take a mulligan. There we go. That's the hand I like to see. To improvise for a 7 damage shield. We're going to get our 10 coins real quick. End my turn and just wait for this dude to beat himself to death on our wall of damage. Uh, slimes have physical resist. They take half physical damage in case you were worried about that or didn't know exactly how it was going to function. That's how it go down, G. That's how it go down. I'm going to expend all my mana to get a few more cards here. We need this dude to move. Oh, we got him with a retaliate. Very nice, man. This is uh, always getting engulf. I think I lose cards on this one. Oh, he banishes one of my cards. That means for the rest of the fight, it's gone, I think. Precise hit first, and that's going to be the damage that we need to get him the fuck up out the way. Goodbye. Farewell, little slimy bastard. I've leveled up. I can get lethal blow. Six damage, 5% for a critical hit, and adds a multiplier to its eh, rejuve potion. Recover all your HP, then delete the card. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Starting AP could go up. Yeah, that'd be a decent option. I'm going to take the rejuve potion. Just the chance to be like, no, I don't feel like dying right now. Sweet That's pretty home. good. Uh, we Sweet can get three home. mana for scrying. Choose magic, attack, or support. Draw three cards that discard all hands in your hand that are not of the chosen type. Okay. I don't like that a ton, but I can Sweet make home. it work. Pure strike. Seven pure damage to an enemy. I will go after an undead ranger right now because we're sitting at level six, and I don't want to fight things that are outside. Uh, mulligan. I don't want that many concentrations on me. That's good. That'll work. We'll play dodge, concentrate. We will replace for another... Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. We'll play 14 block right here so that he's got to work through. He's going to play hidden as well, which is basically the same thing as dodge, except that one automatically cancels the next card, whereas dodge gives you a chance to cancel any card of a certain type that they play. I'm going to discard that because we're not going to use it for right now. Mighty hit. Managed to get some serious damage off, even though he had hidden up. So I don't have a lot to complain about right there. Piercing shot, huh? What did piercing shot do? Piercing shit. Uh, scrying, yeah. Let's do that. Draw three cards, then discard all cards in your hand that are not of that type. Do I click over here to get my three cards? When do I get my three cards? Maybe it plays at the end? I don't know. That was weird. I thought it was you draw three cards first, you take your entire hand, and then you get rid of everything that is not of the type that you want. There we go. Get him up and out of the way for another 30 XP to keep us trucking. It's a merchant up here if we needed the cash. But actually, I want to reveal the nodes because we're taking a little bit of damage right now. I'm going to view your wares. You've got a rejuvi. You've got a bow of flames. Deal four damage when using mana charge. Eh, don't have mana charge, so that's not going to help. Reduce physical damage from projectiles. Block four damage when using mana charge. Add one damage when you play an attack card. A burning hood's not bad. It's all right. It gives you 13 HP as well. I'm going to wait and we'll come back. I got tiger warriors up there. Go for the undead rogue, I guess. I don't want to do any of the level eight go. stuff because it'll whoop my booty hole off. I like that hand a lot better. I like that hand a lot, a lot better. Oh, I should have played it. Shit, that was all my bad right there. I should have played that card first so that it got the bonus damage. Did you hit me with a chakram? Okay, that looks kind of shuriken-like, though. I'm not going to lie. Reposition. At the start of your next turn, draw another card. Backstab. Oh, we are just getting... We are getting stole on right now. We are getting absolutely stole on. Wow. That turn efficiency. Holy shit. Play damage immunity. Play dodge. How would I use this? 
So for right now, we have damage immunity. Was hoping we get something a little bit better, but... Was hoping we get a heal card, but we didn't get it. Gambling on those juvies and get myself into trouble. No! We've been defeated! The flames... Okay, well, the flames of battle have consumed us. But we did get a lot of fame on that run, and so as you can see, you get a little bit further each time. In addition, it rotates the dungeons every time you die, so it doesn't feel like you're doing the exact same thing over and over and over again. I will take another HP boost. Well... Merchants have one extra card. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds cool. Select your character. Um go with the wizard so you guys can get some you can get some wizard play in here. Mist Paw the Wizard. We'll go to Elderberry Forest. And I think that's gonna be our time for the day. I hope you guys have liked this game so far. This is gonna be the last episode of our coverage of it. Uh, it's a game called Monster Slayers. You can find it on Steam right now. It's a pretty sweet title. If you like card games, it doesn't get much sweeter than this. Especially if you don't want to go online to play against other people and be salty and all that kind of stuff. I think it's a really fun game. And, you know, if you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine. But this is the sort of game that really gets me excited. It's a game where hand economy matters, where managing your resources matters, where your opponents play just as hard as you do for the win. And in that case, why not give it a go? Why not check it out? I've got a Steam link for you down below for Monster Slayers. If you like what I do here on the channel, don't forget to check out the Patreon. It's a great way to support me and make sure that I've always got a fresh supply of indie games to show off for all of you. Aside from that, I don't really have a whole lot more to say. I appreciate you all being here, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.